Good morning, everybody. Grandpa Doss, Grandpa Doss Farms. Grandma Doss, Grandpa Doss Farms. <laughs> yeah. I did it. Hey, ta da. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We got some clouds. We got some rain. Yep. Now, the rain ain't going to mount a hill of beans. It's not even going to wet your whistle. Not until we get all the way over there, and then it'll start pouring. And well, I'm going to be dry, but you're not. Yeah, actually, it's supposed to be about three. We're, we're pretty much done, but we'll be thankful for what we get. We have a couple of uh, appointment updates for you. I think I've got, see, what'd you do? You made me, I got like 27 appointments, don't yep. I? Doctor's appointments, so yep. we're going to update you on that. Grandma, once she reaches her limit as to you know, her patience, she gets on the phone and starts making things happen. And so, so she did. Uh, I do pray about them, though. I ask God to close the doors. He just opened more doors yeah, than I expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just opened with the help of somebody. We're going to point that out. Yes, we All will right, point that out. Deal. So anyway, we're going to go feed some animals today. Grandma's going to help me. I'm so I'm so happy. What are we, about 7.30 in the morning, 7 o'clock a.m.? Hey, I was ready earlier. You beat me up. I did. Well, she didn't beat me up, like <laughs> beat me up. She. I was I, quiet, too, because I didn't want you to know that I was up before you, because then I figured you'd get up, so I oh, thought, well. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I got a little surprise for you in the garden, too. Okay. Yeah. Well, it actually it turns out it actually works out well for me. Let's let some birdies out. Hi guys, girls. Oh, see, we've been waiting so patiently this morning. Come on out. Check them on. Come on out. Miss Kitty, by the way, everybody. I want to point this out before we get going and I forget about it. You know, she had that big swollen spot on her, right? And she's much better now, but under her chin is a, uh, I don't, the, the fur has kind of come out. I don't know if she's, what do you do? Clawed it off or whatever. Then there's about a, not quite a quarter inch round spot. Mm -hmm. And several of you had a lot of different ideas about maybe what it, what you thought it was, but she's doing okay now, but it is kind of a nasty little scab coming on there, isn't it? Huh? Isn't daughter, it that's for sure. She's okay now though, much yeah. better. Yeah. So I don't know what, I don't know folks. I really just, I don't know. Somebody asked, hey, why didn't you take her to the vet? I was surprised. You know, that happened within 24 hours. Well, it was on the weekend. On the weekend, and true. And there's no emergency vet service yeah. other than, you know, the ones we take the dogs to. Yeah. But we've never taken the cats there, so. Yeah, so it, it just went boom, boom, just like that. But anyhow, it, it came and went. So, I don't know. I hope whatever it was, she didn't do it again. This is an air freshener, Ma. Someone said, buy those, hang them in your chicken coop, and it'll keep rid of the, get rid of the flies. What's the I've been, scent? Huh, it's called uh, Vanilla Roma. Here, y'all smell that? Smell. Super vanilla. Now, the thing is, I did put it in there yesterday. I haven't really had a chance to see if it works or not. I took it out last night because it really smells up the coop. Now, it smells good to me, but I wasn't sure if the chickens would be super annoyed, so I took it out. But is it raining again? Yep. It's starting to sprinkle again. We may have yep. to go from station to station. By the way, this contraption I got set up right here. See the board and all this stuff I got going on. I try to crack that front door open at night without it coming all the way open because it's hot. Two windows and this door try to get a little ventilation through there as warm as it's been. But yeah, we're getting some more rain. Oh, you know what? We did not get scratched. Well, you'd have to put it in here. Do you want some? I, I'll have to go back outside and get it. Yeah. I'll get it. I got a rain jacket on because well, I'm smart like your... that. Well, you are smart like that, smarter than me. Your worms but you're are going to get, get wet around in here. Yeah, just uh, we'll just put them in here where it's dry and. I just gave her fresh water in the garage, both uh, of them. Oh, they come out here. Yeah, I got to get get them some fresh water this morning. Now, ladies, I have to spread this thin, or I'll get in trouble. No, you won't. <laughs> Would I say anything? Of course not. There's Miss Blondie, doing better. Miss Blondie's has been ill for a little while, but I think she's she's getting better now. Am I, I'm putting it right in the middle of your dance floor, aren't I? That's right. I'll I'll dance around it. I'm pretty limber. That is incredible to me. Yeah, I know, and that's old. Oh, I can't believe she's drinking that. <sighs> oh, all right, I'll give them the wormies. I don't know why I'm carrying this thing around. I got to get into the coop here in a second and get that. Where do you hang it normally? Oh, I got to hang it in there on the uh, on the roost in there. Hey, ladies, gentlemen, you guys ready? You do the wormy dance, and then I'll throw some wormies out, okay? Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. There we go. 
There we go. Come here. Everybody wants some wormies. Come on. Say, come on. Come on. Get some wormies. Get your wormies. Kitty cat, you want wormies? Here we go. Let me get out of my hand. Come here. Get out of my hand. Want some? There we go. Here Miss we go. Kitty, that's there chicken go. food. Huh? She's eating chicken food. I just fed her cat up the wet and the dry. And she's eating chicken food. Well, if she starts laying eggs, that's a bonus. Are we going to check for... Uh-oh, you got a cat up there. Hey there. Baby gets up on top of the chicken run. You're going to get wet. Here, girls. You're going to get real wet. Here, Blondie. Hey, would you throw some of these out there to Chick Norris and out there? They, she ain't got enough sense to come in here. She's looking through the fence like, how do I get in here? Can I throw it through the fence? Sure. Yeah. Well, everybody's hanging around in here today just because of the rain or I just would imagine, yeah. handing out wormies or what? This has thorns on it. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Uh, thorn vine. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to check for Mickey? You ready? Let's see if there's Mickey Mouse under here or worms or whatever it is. But oh there's a gosh, mouse. There he is. There he is. You missed him. There he there's goes. There's two Did of them. There's two of them under there. The other Did one they... took off. Oh, she's there's good. one under here. She stood right there and watched it and, and I didn't... don't believe Where'd it. Where'd it go? Went for it. I don't know. Along that trough. Hang on. Is it under here? No. There's one under here, and she knows it. Watch. You ready, girls? I think he's under there. There he is. You missed him again. He's hiding. Oh, she got. Oh, he went down in that hole. Well, there's a, there's one still under here. Ready, girls? You ready? Get ready. There he is. No, he's under this one then. Come here. No. You, where did he? Get? Did he go back in the hole? Yes. This oh. one went in the hole. That oh, one over there. Golly. I don't know where it went. It might be underneath that that bowl. You guys, girls, surprise, you missed. Try the bowl behind you. This one? Ready? Well, there are two, there's a new hole right there, so yeah, they've got a whole thing going on underneath there. Yep. Girls, we'll, we'll try again later, but you know, that was your shot. Huh? I know. You could have had meat for breakfast. Look at him. Lift that up. Lift it up. I know I'm going to, but it's a little late now. We'll have to try again later. I Look was two. I know, well. I think they've had a litter. What do you call them? Mice have litters or what do they have? I don't know. I've been hearing you call them mouses. Mouses? You're aware it's not mouses, right? It's like it's not sheeps? Right. And deers? It's not sheeps and deers? True. Huh? I've been putting apple cider vinegar in their water too, just for a little extra something something. In case anybody asks. I know. Go on, go on, go, go, go. Get out there, get something to eat. Got one egg. Get you a bug. Did you get a bug? Did you um, fall in here or something? What? Why? What do you ask? Look at the pile of scratch that you threw in there. Well, you taught me everything I know. Except I... to wear a rain jacket when it's raining. Some of that's coming off the trees, I hope. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, Grandma, I, I, I made fun of Grandma for throwing a bunch of scratch out like she'd spilled it and then I come out here and yeah I watched you so just are we tossed a whole so scoop are we, in there. are we even now we're, we're even, even. We're okay even. oh my goodness the crying and crying I don't know if those dentist sticks work or if they make more of stuff on their teeth because you know when Matt and I brushed them the other day they had a lot of brown on their teeth and that's the same color as those dentist sticks well we'll ask the vet when we take them a week from Monday. Yeah, I mean, it, to me, it looks like they're making it worse. I don't know if there's something out there that actually knocks the plaque off, or you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Kind of getting a little concerned. All right, you ready? Oh, my. Okay, it's, 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 it's come, come on. here. Follow come Dad. On. Hey, Go. Get back. Get back, everybody. Come on. Follow Dad. Get back. Come over here. Everybody spread out. Spread out. Sissy, did you poop on the bed? Oh. That's not my poop, Mom. Dad, yeah, who did poop. that? That's big goat poo on the bed. Big goat poo. Uh, boo. Take it easy. We are going to have to do some major grooming before we go to the vet. <gasps> oh no. I thought we did major grooming. Well, we got to do major grooming right before we load them in the car because if you give them oh. a chance. Pea gravel though. Pea gravel. <laughs> Sissy. <laughs> easy. Easy. Pea gravel will be real nice right here. You think it would stay right here, huh? Well, if we put enough of it down, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We no bite. No bite. And no jumping on me. 
You guys ready? Come on, let's go. I can't move unless everybody else goes. Come on, Boo Boo. Come you got on, guys. Food in your mouth. You got food in your mouth, Boo. Hmm? You all right? Oh, just a minute. We're gonna go Man eat. And Fox, I Come think on, we need go. a Come little on, more exercise. We're in Gizmo. Hi, Rambo. Hi, boys. Coming up behind you. These two always have to lead the way. I know. Oh. Look out. Look out. Yeah, don't be careful. Don't move too quickly. You never know. They'll be right there on you. I know, sissy. Go around them. They're crazy, oh, aren't they? A boo. Crazy goats. Boom. Boys, boys, goodness. We're measuring pigs. We're gonna try. Did you measure? Did you bring the measurer? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Good morning, ladies. Oh, we need to put a little more water in your in your wallow, huh? This is what you have to do when I'm gone, okay? When it's, you're gone, where in the hospital? Yeah. I'm gonna be with you. The boys. Can oh be here. yeah. You swish it around like you're looking for gold, you know? The boys can be here feeding. You think so? Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Grandma. Say good morning. Bella, I wouldn't food. mess with her. She's going to snap at you in a minute. All right, girls. We don't have to worry about sunshine this morning. Oh. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. There's one. There we go. Okay, all right. So we're going to measure, eh? Yep. Now we don't need to do the length. Correct. All right, pretty much established. I'm gonna do Lola first, I think. What do you think, have they lost weight or not? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Coming we're in off of winter, which I realize we're more than a couple yeah. months outside of winter. But yeah, hang on Lola. Up close and personal. Squeeze it just a little bit. She has. That's an easy 58. She has. That's 58. She's lost. That's down. Something. Who's next? Miss Bella, you ready? How about you, huh? Right behind the legs. This is called the girth. That's 43 right on the nose. That's an inch less. All right, Livy. You're next, girl. You're next. How we doing? Oh, a little mud. Dirt don't hurt. All right, how's this? Livy. 44. All right. 44. Got it. Let go. She doesn't look any... Well, I don't know. Maybe she... Oh, I don't know. She doesn't look any bigger than uh, Bella. You know what? Yeah, I think her That's belly hangs down huh? low. Her belly hangs down a little more. Livia's does? Yeah. Am I dreaming? I don't know. They look, they look about the same size to me. Does anybody see that? Because her belly hanging down any more than Bella's? <laughs> Lola says, hey. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, though. I would rather have these two yeah. up a little than her, and her down. Up a little, right? That's much better. All right. We're going to go feed goats. They're crying. Tell you who we need to measure. Fox. Yeah, I noticed. I walked That's down a guy, there. I told yeah, him. Yeah, I don't know how to get diet. him. He's just one of those bigger, you know, I don't know what his deal is. He doesn't get any more to eat than anybody else. You Nobody know? runs everybody off when they're trying to eat, so maybe he just gets, you know. I don't know. Come on, here we go. Come on. Here we go. Over here. Now they always come over here. No matter what you do, they, they get it they get it wrong initially. And then they'll figure out they, they know they're where they're supposed to be. Come here, hey, hey, hey. Over here, he switch up. I edit. Watch, watch. That's how and that's huh? I said you forget I edit. Oh yeah. I did oh no 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 no. Uh uh. No no no. No, that's not what we do. Y'all hear that beep 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 in the background. We got a truck doing something back there. I don't know what he's doing. Who knows? Let's give them their uh minerals. <laughs> Hang on a sec, Grandma has this going on, folks. I have to be ready because uh, she just walks up behind me. Well, and she's trying to fill. It just takes you off balance, you know. A giddy up, a giddy up, a oom pop, a mow mow, giddy up, a giddy up. Here you go. What was I talking about? That is for. Uh, they have to maintain. Oh, you grabbed his ear, young man. How would you like me to grab hold of your ear, Fox? Huh? Get on to you and give you a treat. What's that mean? That means that every time I grab his ear, I'm going to get something to eat. No, that's not what we do. You know better than that. We are still doing hay in three different, well, four different feeders. We still have to put one on the outside over there because these two want to knock them off. And then they, instead of coming over here, 
they want to eat there. They're still so doggone territory, you know. Yep. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping one day that'll remedy itself, but for right now, that's what we do. Everybody gets their own fe fe feeders. Big bully. You had mentioned uh, earlier about the goats and what we give them. Right. I've kind of covered this before, but I'll do it again because some people are concerned about minerals and just in general, but here's what we do. This is based on what I've gathered. There's a lot of different ways to do things, a lot of different things you can feed them. But someone asked about a block. This is a mineral block. It's called a billy block. They lick that. I get that at, uh, I think I got that at Atwoods or Tractor Supply, either one. This is a red diamond lick here, and it's like a big rock. They lick on that. Both have, I don't know how many vitamins and minerals they have for just specifically designed for goats. In this one, they're out of it right now. I have to put some more in. That's loose minerals that you can give them uh, just any time, and they just kind of eat off that. So they've also they've each had uh, the two big ones have each had a some a copper bolus and a half because goats need copper. So they've had that. I'm working on trying to get the copper down the little ones. The two big ones loved it when I broke the capsules apart, and put them in. I put them in uh, banana. banana, and they just gobbled them right up. I also put part of it in uh, some feed and the, the uh, other little minerals I give them, right? Well, and I told somebody wrong. Um, I thought it was alfalfa pellets that you were giving the goats, but you said it was Timothy pellets, Timothy grass Timothy pellets. grass pellets only. Alfalfa has too much protein in it. Yeah. That's what you got to get away from weathers. You got to keep the protein down yeah. so they don't get the uh, urinary uh, calculi, which so is basically get, stones. They get the Timothy grass pellets and then yes. the stuff you give them that you call treats. Are minerals. Are minerals. More minerals. So they're getting all kinds of minerals, folks. And every one of those has copper in it, a certain amount of copper. I'm working on getting copper. Uh, these 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 three little guys can't take a whole one. They probably take about a, a half of one based on their weight. But they don't eat bananas. Right. You know, so I'm trying to work on something that they will they will eat. But they're so far, you know, their their tail's looking pretty good. I don't think they're copper deficient or anything. We put these three beds together that somebody was kind enough to send us and we were hoping to be able to just have the little goats on them. But as you can see it doesn't work out that way and anything that we buy we have to buy like for a Great Pyrenees that weighs 120 pounds because you never know whether it's going to be a big goat or a big dog that gets on them. So yeah what happened here is these uh, when they get on them the bolts literally just bent Yep. They just bend over. Yeah. You can't replace, you know what I mean? You, well, wait a minute. You could replace those bolts. Well, and they lay on again. them like this. Well, they lay on them just like that, which probably works so, out great. This one's kind of... That one right there is totally pretty much demolished. Yeah. But we appreciate, you Everything. know, sending them to us. But they almost have to have something that's big, metal, heavy duty, like what we finally got here. But, you know, we've went through about, what, four different kinds of beds? Oh, my five. gosh. Now, no. a gentleman sent a comment not too long ago and told me of a place where they have these beds besides Amazon. And I'm going to look that up. It starts oh, yeah. with a K. Kevlar? No, well, no. That's the... I know. Mesh. Mesh. Oh, okay. But, uh, it was a company. The name right. of a company. Right. We, uh, we've had these since before last winter. Yeah. And I think the lady sent us a comment and wondered where the beds were. And I, you know, I kind of knew, honestly, yeah. we, we know we've we had did. enough experience to know what's going to happen. But sure enough, they did that. But they're using them. As you can see, they're on a slope. They'll lay on them. You well, know, and but. I spend almost $70 on these cool mats mm -hmm. and already. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the goat. I think it's Peter. It could be. But we're not going to buy any more cool mats because don't. You didn't order more, did you? I have. I might have one coming. Oh. It was half price. Well, yeah, I know. But we just. I know. Kinda, but it was before. <laughs> it's good money after bad. I know. She. It it's just good before. money after bad know, or bad money because they just tear them up. So I, I don't recommend the cool mats. They just no. You do recommend them for a dog that won't chew. They, they right. do cool the dog. I don't recommend them maybe for the outside for, with have goats and the dog. You know. Well now hang on. We have a difference of One opinion. lady huh? had a German Shepherd, I believe, and she mm -hmm. wanted the link to it, and I gave it to her because her German Shepherd lays on the porch. That's perfect. You're oh, on okay. a covered porch, you know. Yeah. It's just okay. ours happened to think that you know it's a chew toy. I know. They have chew toys that they don't chew I know. on. I, I know. So uh, to each their own. Hey, I need to pet on the little goats a little bit. See, we don't get to do that very often, do we? Huh? See, we're not on camera. We do it a lot at night. Oh, Gizmo, good boy. Good 
they're so pretty he's got a that's a that's a dark chocolate brown mixed with that light color it's directly from his daddy for sure and a boo-boo again these rambo these two came from the same mom and dad and it uh oh sprinkling a boo uh came they all three came from the same it's dad but a boo had a different mama but he has the face get in there Ma. he's got the face of uh, gizmo the markings look at the chickens running for the oh the chickens are <laughs> look wait a second if i can get him see him oh it's raided it. the sky is falling run miss kitty took off run. The look, garage. At him. look at him go get in the house there's baby get in the house this is how i'd like for them all to get along all the time you know what they're only getting along because we're in here probably well as long as fox stays over there yeah they're so cute still you know they they're, they're growing very slowly they they're grow gonna slow. be beautiful goats so all of them oh yeah they are them. oh that's your spot that's your spot right there well i caught a predator i knew somebody's Just in there eating that I food i knew it right there though. look at that oh. a mean house. old chicken what are you doing in there i thought i tripped that sophia honey Listen, why are you in a raccoon trap? And uh, Yeah, I know you're upset. I'm sorry. Yeah, I had, come on out. Come on, Benny. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> oh my goodness. Go on in. I'm sorry. Okay, go on in. Go on, get you something to eat. Go on, get a drink of water. I got to be careful of that. That's for sure. We have had a major issue the last four, five, six nights. We've got raccoons coming into the garage. I think we've got two. And we had possum coming in. And uh, what have they been doing inside the garage? Well, I opened the door this morning and it looked like there'd been a, quite a tussle. My shoes were all off the landing and cat bowls, the water bowl, all the food was gone. I mean, it was a mess. They got over into the boxes, didn't get into any of the food that was unopened, but they got, you know, mm -hmm. pieces of stuff and just chewed on it that... Well, I had left half a dozen eggs out, which I don't normally do, and one of them, they got in there and ate all the eggs and they're just making a mess. So. Yep. I've been trapping. I've caught two possums so far. So that's why I got the traps out here, one here and, and one back there by the shed. So we're going to keep working on it. I also but, got a couple of big groundhog out here too, but so far they haven't gotten in the garden. But I wanted to show you too, I think Grandma can pick a, uh, I told her to come out and take a look. I want to see if we got a zucchini big enough to pick this morning. And look, look just as we go along, see this pumpkin? Wow, yeah. yeah look here. Oh my goodness. And I thought, yeah, look at there, there's a pumpkin. We're going to have to get that up off the ground. Cool. Two days ago, that thing wasn't bigger, big, big as a half dollar. But yeah, these pumpkins are running all the way down here. They'll get really long. There's a zucchini right. Oh, I think there might be two. I don't know if that one's big enough. Well, there's one. Hang on a second. There's one here. Yep. That's, I don't know if that's big enough really to pick or not. Yeah. I think the I one here. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Here's the one you want. Oh, yeah. This is definitely big enough right here. Yep. See that one? Yep. So we want him? Yep. That'll be for brownies. Oh, I can't wait. I think. Here's another one. Is this big enough? These oh, here. wait. Oh, here's a huge one. Is hey. there? Oh, my word. That's, yeah. We gotta oh, have here, that hang one. Hang on to that. I didn't see that guy. It's too big. Oh, my goodness, dude. You really don't want them to go this long if you're going to use to cook I them know. with, right? Yeah. I didn't see it. Look at this. Wow. Wow, that. that's right. Yeah, see that? Here's my foot. My foot's like 13 inches long. Look at that thing. Look at that. Goodness gracious nice i can get some uh spears and zucchini spears okay. I've got the i called them sticks by the way didn't i spears sticks. yeah same thing right here's a so anyway we got your first two zucchini yep tomatoes are going really good watermelon oh look there we go i didn't see that either there's a watermelon right there oh see? my goodness How about that nice got us a watermelon the corn is going great i had to do a uh had a big windstorm and blew it over so I did, this is called a Florida weave, and I did a double Florida weave. Double Florida weave yeah. in Missouri. Yep. That's Missouri a great style. idea, though. Yeah, that way they won't blow over. Look at this. Now, see, uh -huh. somebody said this is leaf lettuce, and I believe they're right. Well, it's on not, the package it says iceberg. Well, it can be iceberg, but you break it off and you eat it. Like you So I'm supposed to, well, I've salad. been wondering, because it's not making a right a lettuce ball or what do you want to no, call it no we just need to break this off and put it in baggies and put it really? in the fridge well we need to do it before it gets you know i don't know how how uh you know it's ready to harvest i guess folks y'all let us know i i guess well we it just, grows back i mean you huh? just tear some of it off really yeah if i tore that off right there yep and i can eat that mm. 
You know what? It tastes like lettuce. Mm -hmm. Need a little salad dressing on there. Mmm, that's good. It's our little rescue tomato plants here. I have no idea which one they're going to be. I encourage everybody, if you can at all, to try to grow some kind of a little itty bitty garden. Itty bitty? Itty bitty. These are the red beefsteak tomatoes. Look at this thing. That is huge. This is one. Wow. One sweet 100 oh cherry tomato goodness. plant, folks. Now I've had to surround this thing with these cages because it's so big. It's a good thing you like tomatoes. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of tomatoes on that thing. Yes, we are for awesome. you to eat. Look I at will. the I'll blackberries. Oh, yeah, look here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Red, uh, see, right down there, there's a big one right there. Those mm -hmm. things are enormous. So, yeah, the blackberries, a bunch of them up here. I'll have to get enough. I'll have to look at that recipe and see how much it takes for the hand pies. Is that what Pam oh, said? Oh, those hand, hand pies. Yeah, turnovers, hand pies, whatever you want to call yeah. them. Excellent. These All right, are growing so, great, too. Yes, the rose moss, portulaca. So we wanted to show off some things that we've had. Some of it we've had for a little while. Some of it just came in. But this is an assortment of nuts. I mean, there is every kind of, not just nuts, there's oats and there's, um, what am I trying to say? The Well, there's sesame seeds. There's walnuts. There's rolled oats. My favorite seed. They're called crunchy snickerdoodle cookie seeds. And then I got, we got some trail mix also that I've already munched on. Yep, you've already you already know? them too. So that, who sent us that? That was That's Karen. Karen. Mm -hmm. Karen. She's the one that sent us the whole wheat and the stuff for making the bread. Bread. Bread, Thank you. right, right. And these were handmade. And I do not remember her first name. I apologize, but isn't that cool? Yeah, those are, that is something. Yep. Coasters. Yeah, yep. love it. The Legos. This, this is handmade <laughs> by Adler, Matt, and then Adler Matt started it. Us. Adler and Grandma and I started it, and then Matt came over and finished it, and then Adler thought he came over and he brought this piece. He goes, Grandpa, I think this fell off. Yeah. So we got to fix he it. He was here yesterday. He's a Lego so. guy. And these are some of the cards that we got. Ralph's aunt, Aunt Betty, used to make these cards like this. These are handmade. Isn't that incredible? They all have very nice notes. Mm -hmm. I'm so jealous of the handwriting. I say it every time, but my word, some of these people's handwriting is beautiful. And here's another one. Your Aunt Betty was, was really creative mm -hmm. with them, too, but I just think that's really cool. Now, this one caught my eye right off the bat. Mm -hmm. It says, Wormy Dance, and please take us to, and they're pointing to Grandpa Doss Farms, P.O. Box 509. Isn't that sweet? That's, that's all she did all, all by hand? Yeah, it's all by hand. It's all, all been hand. done by hand. And then here's the card. That's cute. The pig, and then inside it says, well, at least you don't have to wear a cone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. From sage? Oh, yeah. That sage? That's all right. Sage? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Karen, to tell us. that sends us these pillows like this, sent me, not us, sent me a blanket. I don't get cold, Karen? It says grandma. Very clearly says grandma. And look at all the, the words. I mean, my goodness. I'm not sure that I really qualify for all of that. But. Helpful, survivor, inquisitive, wise, brave, sarcastic, sardonic. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Beautiful, Isn't loving. That, that may be for me. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I That's showed gorgeous. this oh, what? too. Oh, what, honey? Well, she sent Did a really miss? nice card. I don't oh, okay. know if I got the card out yeah. here or not. I think it may be in the in the other. It may be. Okay. But this, I thought, well, what is that? That's got to be something, you know. So I started reading it, and it's got wildflowers embedded on this. And you lay it down, you start watering it, yeah. and the wildflowers pop out of that. Well, you know how good I am with the petunias. I'm probably going to do this myself. <laughs> so, yeah, geez. probably going to do it myself. I'll let Grandma plant those flowers right there, because I, uh, yeah. I don't do well with them. And I hope we have not forgotten anything. Yeah, if we did, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up. We'll catch up. We also got some wormies in from, I believe, probably Dottie or it could be Jody. I'm not sure. I think Dottie wanted yeah. somebody, sent us some wormies. And you saw in Chad's video, if you go back and watch the one where Grandma and I went to Chad's, I had uh, Jody's uh, hat on, the, the yeah. camo hat that doubles as a cowboy hat, triples as an Australian hat. Somebody pointed that out. If I just do half of it, yep. I like it. And then when uh, Chad and Ray brought... Adler up yesterday. Mm -hmm. These have been sitting on the floor. <laughs> Bless her heart, she's so good to me. They, right? This is a Christmas present, right? wasn't it? Mother's Day. Mother's Day, beg your yeah. pardon. So, so we're, we're horrible at hanging things, but then she brought 
When, yeah, Chad and Ray helped us. And these you don't hang with nails. You use magnets. There's a thing that sticks on the wall. Mm -hmm. So Grandpa was fine with that, and I'm thrilled. Yeah, yeah. So I don't like to punch yeah. holes in walls. So first of all, this may be my favorite part of the video, where I get to sit down and rock and talk and have coffee and hang out with you, of course. Oh, yeah. I should have got that. I should that. The order was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been coffee first, <laughs> hanging out with Grandma, <laughs> hanging out with you guys. Maybe that should hanging out with them should be the. By the way, I, I got to keep my hands in because it looks like a 3D. I know, I know it's creepy. Yeah. And anyway, hanging out with you, drinking coffee, hanging out with them, and y'all get to hang out with Beep Beep. He doesn't start that. He's just until we till we turn the camera on. Well, let's do the pigs uh, wait first. All right, I'm going to do these backwards because I'm really proud of the last one, but the first one is Olivia. And right if there. we didn't measure wrong last time, Boy. she has gained 8.86 pounds. Just, she now weighs a, right at 200 pounds. You all know she that was ain't 192. right. Y'all know that ain't right. That ain't right. That can't be. She's not getting any <coughs> more to eat. You know, in a minute, she's going to get a chicken. I'm going to feed her a chicken. <laughs> a rooster. Rooster. Daddy. Bella, Bella has lost nine pounds. She's at one <coughs> She's at 194. She was at 203. So she's that measurement, the, first, the, the comparable measurement was taken in March. March. Yeah, so it's been three months. Mm -hmm. Now, Lola, I am so proud of Miss Lola. <coughs> she she has lost 31 pounds. Yes. She now weighs 446 pounds, and she was 477 <laughs> three months ago. So she's so doing extremely well. So she can brag. So how you do it? Said, so, well, I lost. I'm down from 477 to 445. And we're not we're not doing the uh, what's the other one girth from the head to the tail. No, so we just left that the same. Correct. Right. So yeah. it's a true weight compared to what we did three months ago. Exactly. So right. we have said before that you know we do not expect folks to send us things. Correct. So when we do the show and tell and all, we're just very appreciative of all that. But you know what? Again, folks, it isn't necessary. We appreciate it greatly. and It's not to make anybody feel bad. No, no, not whatsoever. It means everything to us. The prayer. Yes. That's number one. And our relationship with you guys and everything else that you do for us is just above and beyond. And we, we greatly, greatly appreciate it, but we do not expect it at all. And we will never ask for anything from anybody. Someone sent Matt a comment and said hey I've never sent you anything before but what what can I send you for the treats for the dogs and the goats or whatever and so we put a couple of things in there and Matt then we said told him said you know what we do not expect this we're doing this because you ask and I don't want to be rude but trust me if you never send us anything it doesn't it's, it's just it's just as well it's just as good okay I hope we're saying that right. I hope everybody understands it. Okay. All right. So now, um, an update on where I'm at with my appointments. Do you want to give them the rundown? I, I get confused. Well, I think we told you that Lori with All Creatures Farm and Rescue had talked to a doctor, a friend of hers, and he, she just asked him who's the best heart doctor for valve replacement, and he gave us a name. And so I contacted them and actually we had to have a referral so we went back through our primary care doctor got the referral finally and um, they called and said that they were switching to a different doctor and they gave us his name and you know we were kind of disappointed because we don't know any of them but when this doctor went out of his way to tell us who the hands down was the best you know doctor for this procedure we were pretty pumped about that so we just decided that maybe that was god's way of putting this other man in our path and so we he called they called and scheduled an appointment for august 1st i was kind of disappointed that it was that far out because when i had called before i got the referral they said that you know it'd be within a week or so but that was for the other doctor so in the meantime the original cardiologist that we saw they called from his office after you had the t-scope we knew we were supposed to get a phone call we just didn't know it was going to take a week but they called and said hey he wants to do a catheter catheterization right and left on july 19th we've just been praying about all this and so Lori texted me the other day and she said hey what's ralph's birthday and something else she needed 
maybe it was our address, I don't remember, but anyway, she said that the doctor that she had talked to that gave her the name of the original doctor wanted to contact him. So I sent her back a text and I said, hey, they passed us off to somebody else. She said, I'll give him that information. Well, it wasn't probably at the most 20 minutes and you got a call from the office where the this original, original doctor. doctor was and they said hey can you be up here wednesday um by 11 30. that's the that's july 3rd that's yeah july yeah, 3rd sure right now what's going on but we've got all the appointments and we plan to keep them i'm thankful we have this one first because this is the original doctor we wanted to see we can get his opinion he can tell us himself whether or not we need the catheterization done and he can also tell us whether he wants to be the one to do it and he can also let us know whether he only does open heart right. and maybe that's why they referred us to the other associate in his office. So is everybody so. confused by now? Yeah, we certainly I were, am. but I just feel good that we have an appointment Wednesday. I feel like, you know, that gets us started in the month of July. We'll know what he recommends because he has all the records. They've looked at all mm -hmm. the records there mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll know more about you know how to proceed and why we're proceeding if we're going with a different doctor we'll know answers to some of this which will really help a lot well, so I'm anxious to get up there Wednesday and see what he says so that that's where we're at you know I mean obviously with my situation the severe regurgitation I want to get it done as soon as possible because I don't want any further damage to be done you know and I'm sure they know the timeline and what's going on so and speaking of Lori um, if you go over to their <laughs> channel all creatures farm and rescue she did an update on Briar, and mm -hmm. I'm not going to try to fill you in on it. You'll just have to go over there. It's it's its own separate post um, on their channel, so you can read up on okay. it. Go over to All Creatures Farm and Rescue and read their update. And watch their videos. Yes. Boy, Miss Kitty, you're shedding. I Sorry. Know, but at least she's doing a lot better. Sounds she is. I'm better. wanting to look at that neck. but Well, it's just kind of a bald spot now with a I saw red it. dot in the middle of it, but getting there. You scared us. Yep. Yep. I would have taken her to the vet on Monday had she not yeah. did what yeah, she, she did Sunday, but she day. was right back to her old self on mm -hmm. uh, after that thing yep, sure was. popped or whatever. Sure was. Well, once again, and I know it's redundant, but all of the sweet comments, all the encouragement, all the prayers, we feel them, we appreciate it, it's beyond words, mm -hmm. you know, some of them just bring you to tears, you know. Well, and some they have shared a lot of their prayer requests, and there's yes. a lot of people out there that we need to be praying for, but I know that you all do. Uh, we tried to get to as many comments as we could, and I was just amazed when I got to the ones where there were people asking for prayer at how many people had responded already before we even got to it. That's awesome. It is awesome. We it appreciate it so much, and I know that those that are asking also appreciate it. Lori texted me back and was checking on how it went, or maybe I sent her a text and told her how it went and that we had an appointment. And She's just such an encouragement, and I think how long they have been praying for Briar oh and how many goodness. doctors they've Right. been to and right. you know it makes us feel a little bit and and I know it's not right to feel guilty but sometimes I do because I think that's their child and mm -hmm. they're going through all of this mm -hmm. and you know right. so and right. I know a lot of you still have her in your prayers I see it all the time I see it over on their channel and their comments that you're still praying for them so I know they appreciate that too well, Matt, there's just so many things out there that folks need prayer for and we thank you all for praying for them and praying for us and We'll continue to, uh, again, just keep praying, folks. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we do. God bless you. We love you. And until next time, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Pound fist. Oh, what you meant me.